Okay, welcome to part two. Now I'm going to show you how I tracked the other two pieces of text. There's the first one. I raise that finger. It's pretty much the same except the slight few variations. Let's go to about there, I think. Create another null object. And then this one. Track a two. Select the source footage, click on track motion, and we'll get the tracker point here. So I'll move along to my finger. This time we only need position selected as we don't need to rotate or scale the text, it's just going to literally follow my finger. And again, like before, I'm just going to go frame by frame at first just to until it gets the initial lock on my finger. That's doing well, let's analyze it forward. I'm just going to analyze this until the end of the video. Oops, it's just gone off a little bit there, so I'm just going to go back a few frames. To about there, so when it loses. And now I'm going to make sure that the target is on track 2, which is the null object that we made, and I'm going to apply that data to the null object and then I'm going to add the text it's slightly smaller Oops. exact same thing as before parent it to that tracker and it will magically follow it Also going to change the opacity on this so that it fades in. And I'm going to do the same for the other word. Create another null object. Name this one tracker three. And then click the select the source footage. Click track motion. Only need the position. So I can just move this over here. Now we have that second tracking data. Perfect. First time. And make sure that the target is selected as tracker 3 and click apply. And then again create another text object. and pairing that to tracker 3. The beauty of this is that you can move this in any relation to the finger and it will track to it perfectly. So you can line it up however you want it. Okay, and that's the second one tracked to that finger. And the last tutorial I said I was going to show you how to add a little bit of awesome and that is with motion blur. To use the motion blur you just simply go over to where the text layer are and this is the motion blur icon and we're just going to select that in each of the text layer and make sure this isn't usually on by default unless you set it on and then that will enable the motion blur for all of the layers. This can make things a little bit processor intensive so you might want to do it, check it and then turn it off if you've got lots of things happening and then make sure you turn it on before you render it out and I'll show you what that does just has that nice bit of blur and makes everything look a little bit smoother I've been Adam from dudeinajama.com and I've just shown you how to do motion tracking